Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Webhook inside Gravity Forms. So, Webhook acts as a bridge to connect applications and it helps to effortlessly deliver the data from one application to another on a happening of a specific event. So, in today's video, we are going to learn step by step that how we can set up a Webhook inside Gravity Forms. So, as we know that Gravity Forms is a popular WordPress plugin that allows website owners to create and manage various types of forms such as contact forms, surveys, quizzes, and much more. With Gravity Forms, users can very easily customize form layouts, their fields, and even they can set up email notifications for form submissions and much more. So we will step by step learn how we can set up a connection between Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect to send the response of Gravity Form submission to any other application that too automatically. For that, we have to first set up the connection between Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect. For that, first of all, we have to start this workflow. Here on my screen, you can see two windows, trigger and action. So trigger and actions the two main concepts or the building blocks on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards the word trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now let's suppose here for instance you want that whenever a form will be submitted in gravity forms then you want to capture the response of that form over here in Pabli Connect and then automatically you want to create a record of all the form submission in Google Sheets. And after that, you also want to send a thank you message on WhatsApp to the person who has submitted this form. So here, your trigger will be Gravity Forms, but you can have multiple actions such as Google Sheets, Gmail, WhatsApp, and much more. Okay, so you can add multiple actions in the workflow to automate a long process, but the trigger will be one. Now, after understanding this concept of trigger in action, let's start creating the workflow step by step. All right, so after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let's learn how to set up a trigger inside Gravity Forms. So we will select our trigger and here we have to select the application that will be Gravity Forms. So let's select that. And now after selecting the application, we also have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So new response will be our trigger event. So whenever the response will be captured from Gravity Forms, instantly the workflow is going to trigger and the response will be captured. Okay. Now as we have done that, we can see that a webhook URL is provided to us. So webhook URL is a unique URL with the help of which we set up a connection between one application with Pabli Connect. Okay. So this webhook URL is going to act as a bridge for setting up this connection between Gravity Forms and Pabli Connect and it is going to send the data from Gravity Forms whenever the form will be submitted here inside Pabli Connect. So we will copy the webhook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So you can also read the instructions given over here. We have to follow it very carefully. Now I'm going to tell you all the steps of this connection. So after we have copied this webhook URL, now I'm going to take you towards Gravity Forms. As we know that Gravity Forms is the plugin of WordPress. So, so this is my WordPress site and here we have the option of Forms. So this is Gravity forms. Now under forms, first of all, we have to go towards add-ons from the left side. After coming over here, we have to scroll down until we will find the option of webhooks because we want to set up this connection with the help of webhook. So here we have to install one add-on that is webhook. So you have to scroll down and yes, here we have find the option of webhooks add-ons. So you have to install this particular webhook. You can see that my add-on is already active. This means that I've already installed the add-on. Once you will install the add-on, you have to then go towards forms. So we'll go towards form section. And then you have to select the form which you want to connect with Pabli Connect. Okay, so here I'm going to select this contact form, let's say. So we'll go towards the contact form. And after opening the form, we have to go towards settings. Under settings, we can find the option of webhooks. So let's select that. We are going to connect this particular form with the help of webhook. So now these are the webhooks which are already added over here in this form. To create a new webhook, you have to click on this add new button. And then you have to first of all provide a name to your webhook. So I'm going to give a name over here, let's say new connection. So I have given just a random name, but you can give any name to your webhook connection according to your requirements. Now here in the request URL field, we have to paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. The request method will be post and the request format will be JSON. After selecting all these details, we have to click on save settings. And we can see that the settings are updated. Now we'll go back towards Pabli Connect after setting this connection. And here it is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now we have to test the connection. How we are going to do that? By submitting a form. Okay, so that the response of that form could be captured over here in Pabli Connect. And we can check whether the connection is set up correctly or not. So for that, we will again go towards Gravity Forms. And here we can see the option of preview. So we will preview the form. And now my form is open. So basically, this is a contact form. You can select any form you want to connect on the submission of which you want to receive the response. 
response okay so now we are going to make a test submission by submitting this form so that the response could be captured in public connect and for doing that i am going to enter the dummy details over here basically i am doing a test submission therefore i am using dummy details let's start with the name let's say the name of the person who is submitting this form is dummy and the last name is dummy user now i am going to enter a random email address and this is the email dummy user2 at the rate publicdudes.com so these are the details now i'm going to click on submit to submit this form and here the form is submitted now we will go back towards public connect and here we will wait for a few seconds and we can see that yes here we have received the response in the response we have received all the details first of all you can see that we have received the email and this is the same email which we have entered while submitting the form dummy user 2 at the rate pabitudes.com when we'll scroll down we can see the status of the form that is active here is the source url all right and here are multiple details so among these details we can also see the first name and the last name of the user who has submitted this form along with the date and time at which the form is being submitted this means that our connection is absolutely successful full so whenever now a form will be submitted in gravity forms automatically the response of that form is going to be captured over here in public connect with all the details and once you will set up this connection between gravity forms and public connect you can send the response of the gravity form submission to any other application as well by adding that application in the action steps for example if you want to create a record of the form responses then you can add google sheets or ms excel in your action step to create a record over there automatically if you want to receive a whatsapp notification for the form submission then you can set up a connection between whatsapp cloud api in the action step and you can also email these form responses by using gmail over here in the action step so you can connect any application in action to send the gravity form response to that application automatically and that can be done very easily without any coding or programming skills so these were the simple steps which we have to follow to set up webhook inside gravity forms to add it in the trigger okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.